Hey guys, so I recently posted a video on this look and you guys had a lot of questions on this look. So I decided to recreate that in this video. So let's get started. I'm going to start off by pinning the wig onto this blockhead. I got this blockhead from Amazon. I'll have the link below. By the way, I did go ahead and bleach the knots. I have a full tutorial below if you guys want to check it out. This is a pre-plucked wig, but I do want to do a little bit more tweezing myself. Not a whole lot, just a little bit more. And an easy way for me not to over plug or get a bald spot is to pull down the baby hairs a little bit and start tweezing behind the hairline. This is a very tedious process, so it could take a little while to thin out the hairline. Of course, depending on how thick and full the hairline is now, this wig wasn't too thick so I really didn't have a lot to pluck out and this is pretty much all the hair that I plucked out <laughs> and I forgot that I had a brand new pair of tweezers so I actually over plucked and got a bald spot FYI the quickest way to get a thinned out hairline is using some good tweezers so I'm just playing along with the hairline of course I'm using curly hair today so of course I want to have baby hairs on fleek it's a must with curly hair Oh, in case you're wondering, this wig is from my first wig. The name of this wig is Victoria, and it is the Malaysian Curly Full Lace Wig. This is 20 inches, and it is a glueless lace cap. So I'm going to go ahead and spray some water onto the hair and use my dimming brush and get these waves popping. This is a very beautiful wig. I would have never thought this wig would look like this by just adding water to it. I got this brush from Sally's and I love it. I love using this brush on curly hair, wavy hair, hell, my own natural hair. I love this brush. It makes the curls just pop. All right, so here's the fun part. Let's go ahead and cut the lace off of this wig. I'm just going to actually cut straight across. And then once I put the wig on my head, I'm going to follow the dips a little bit more. And I'm going to cut a little bit more lace off. So don't cut too much lace off right now. So this is pretty much what it should look like. FYI, if you are using gel or glue to install your wig, apply your makeup last because, girl, it can be a hot mess trying to go back in and touch up your makeup on your forehead i do cut the sideburns off of all of my wigs because the wig is just too damn big for my head so only thing i'm doing is using the got to be glued gel and applying it directly on my sideburns and i'm using a little bit of the got to be glued hairspray and securing the frontal down that way i did not add gel all the way around the perimeter of my head just because I felt like it was no need to do that. So if you feel the need to do that, the girl, go right ahead and do so. So she is secured and she is not going anywhere, child. So I'm going to go ahead and put the hair up in a ponytail because I'm going to put a head scarf around my head, making sure I tie it pretty tight. Leave the scarf on for about 10 minutes. And I like to do this because it makes the lace lay a lot flatter. It makes the wig look flatter. Flatter. Um, it also helps with the drying process or making sure the wig is more secured and I also like that it's easier for me to put my hair in a ponytail or a bun without worrying about the lace coming up so I had to re-record this clip of the video because I don't know what the hell happened so that's why this um, hair looks like it looks dry and the curls are really not popping as it was before and it's because I had to redo this clip of me showing you how to put the wig in a bun. So I'm just going to tie my hair around and then I'm going to play around with the bun a little bit, pulling it out, tugging here and there and wetting the hair just so you can see the curls pop out of the bun a little bit. Um, I did add foundation to my forehead after this video because again like I said you want to apply your makeup after you do the install to the wig but you know I did it before so chow we gotta just make it work but that's why my forehead looks a little crazy because it doesn't have foundation so anyways I hope this video was helpful to you guys um, if you love it let me know below in the comment section don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and share it if you love it